it's just gonna be one week. It's just gonna be for one week. You're gonna stay here on Lola's farm with all your friends and Rodrigo, all right? Huge day for us. Such an exciting day. We're actually leaving Lola's farm. <laughs> we're going. So we're going somewhere, and we're going somewhere very, very special. But we have a pretty hefty crew that's gonna be joining us on this trip. So say hello to our first crew member, hello. Sam. Hello. <laughs> Sam I am. Sam I am, green peas and hat. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Take good care of the farm. I'll see you in a week, bro. All right, bro. See you. Like Rodrigo will be looking over the farm. We also have Iberto and Enrique. They're going to be up there the full time for the full week that we're going to be gone helping them out. So there'll be three of them. And there should be no problems. Those guys have been there now for two years. When you don't give your kid any screen time, this is how you entertain them. <laughs> For us to basically go anywhere, we have to first stop at Panama City. So that's where we're going first. <laughs> we made it to our first stop. We're on a bus now. You know the mama and the dad that used to live on a bus? Yeah, we used to live on a bus kind of like this. Even though it's Father's Day, the best mother award goes to Kaylee. Aww. It just takes care of Sadie, willing to change a diaper anywhere. No, I have a camera macho macho man. <laughs> crushing it, baby. We are crushing it. This trip for us is all about coffee. Drinking coffee, learning about coffee, making connections within the coffee industry. At the end, you're left with a dry mouth. You are. Yeah. Also just consuming way too much coffee. That's just kind of part of what goes with this whole thing, but we're back at the airport now. We're getting back on a plane. We got a little bit longer flight this time, and we're going here. Guatemala City. Three hours, another country in Central America. Huge coffee producing country that we're trying to build some connections with. This is our first time trying to build connections outside of Panama. Pretty scared, but pretty excited. So we have probably the most epic crew going to a very special place. You already told them, George? Yeah. Okay. And honestly, it's just so incredibly special to have all of these guys all together going on our first ever morning movement business trip. <laughs> I just showed up here and everyone started cheering. I don't know. I don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, the gang, gang. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Look how far back I. Am. <laughs> What's gonna be the first song of choice? Uh, it's gonna be. <laughs> what? Uh, girls in the hood. Go for it. Girls in the hood. <laughs> Being good, I'm a bad bitch. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> watch out, watch out. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Speechless. Speechless. 
there's a movie theater. You guys, just so you know, this place cost us like a little over $100 a night. We didn't like ball out or do anything crazy. Oh my God. Oh my God. He's telling us all water. I haven't taken a shower in a real shower in a very, very long time. We've been showering out of a little water spigot with cold water. It gets hot like 10% of the time. We're so exhausted, you guys. That was a long day. There's a lot of adventuring that's gonna go on. There's a lot of stuff that's gonna happen here in Guatemala. And uh, we can't wait to share it all with you guys. So, we'll see you tomorrow. So much of what we're doing here in Guatemala is just working with coffee, meeting producers, meeting everyone here in the coffee industry. And today we're here with Mauricio. Mauricio, have you ever, have you ever vlogged before? Vlogged. Vlogged. Vlog. Vlogged. You know, like a, like a vlogger. I like no, a vlogger. No, 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 no. But today is the first day. You're doing it right now? Yes. What do you have to say to the people out there? Uh, hello, people. <laughs> It's so crazy driving through these streets of Antigua because it was just about two, two and a half years ago that Jordan and I were here with our bus, which is just so mind-blowing to look back on and think about. And now we're back here with our whole posse and a baby and a coffee business. It is so, 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 so crazy to think about. We're on a little bit of a road trip here. We're just pulled over on the highway. We've got about three hours of driving to do today. We're going up to Lake Ati Atitlan? Atitlan? Like Atitlan? Titlan? Atitlan. I'm wondering what these like subtitles are gonna look like right now. <laughs> we're scouting some more coffee today and we're actually going to the indigenous, kind of like the equivalent of the Camarca in Panama. We're going to, this is, these guys are Mayan. This is gonna be a Mayan coffee farm. So we just made a very, very crucial stop on the side of the road here. <laughs> Come on, come on, let's go! Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen a sight as beautiful as this one. Oh my god! This is the thumbnail. We bought all the coconuts. <laughs> this is truly everything that I dream of and more. We're getting pretty close, we're about a half hour out and it is getting really condensed and really tight and on a lot of people on the streets, street markets. It's beautiful. Every once in a while we come up to a little spot and there's just tons of coffee plants on the left and right. It's funny because when we were traveling through here just a couple years ago, we didn't even know what a coffee plant looked like back then. And uh, that's that's all I gotta say about that. So you want dude, yeah, I'm gonna throw her in. Hola dude. We made it, baby. Just a quick little 10 minute boat ride. And we are here. I don't really know where we are yet, but we're here somewhere. We came to a, we've come to a coffee farm on the other side of the lake. And these guys talk a big coffee game. They say they have the best coffee in all of Central America. That's what everyone says. I <laughs> saw. Mi nombre es Sadie. Mi nombre es Sadie. Hola. Aquí. Hola, amigos. We're all trying to say hello in Mayan. It's really not working too well. Nacht aber Newman. Here's the community. It calls Chacaya. And this little community, we have only 4,200 people in this community. 75% of community here in Chacaya, they work on a coffee. But not only coffee, we're taking care of the environment, especially in this area, taking care of the lake. But through our coffee, through their coffee, providing food, education for the people, this area. 
especially um, this year we sent uh, 40 kids, new kids in the school. We get uh, school mm. supply. Uh, sell a lot of our coffee in the States, but we go right to the farms and we've bought coffee from the indigenous people of, of Panama. Uh, we, you know, everything we've done has been right from the farm. Um, it's better for everybody. We can pay more and then we can get it, we can ball get a better price rather than having a, a middleman involved. So um, connecting with you guys is great. And what we've also done is we've sold coffee with a story. It's not just regular coffee, it's a face to the person who's making it, to the people who are making it. And it's, uh, yeah, that's how we built our business. Okay. And then that's how we've done it differently. We're going into one of the farmer's homes to try some of his coffee, see what they got. And just, uh, yeah, try it out a little bit. Cheers to good Cheers. coffee, baby. In Guatemala. In Guatemala. In Guatemala. Through through our coffee here, the people survive. Otherwise, they have nothing. Mm. The people here they make uh, six, seven dollars a day. People from the city come here. They take the advantage. They bring their truck and they pay very little money. How much? Can you tell us how much a pound? Yeah, a like uh, three cues, one pound. Three pet cells for one pound. Pound. Uh, so, uh, okay, so if you broke that down for a latte, that's it's, the same, it's ten dollars a latte. That's exactly what the. Uh, I was just talking with the Mel Bay in Panama, and it was the same thing. Yeah. And what I told them, and what we'll tell you guys is. As long as the coffee is our criteria, we can pay at least 10 times. Huh. At least. Even two times. <laughs> I get the prize! Have fun, sweetie! <laughs> Hi, puppies! Hi, good boys and girls! You can do it! Okay, what's up, guys? So here we are on the back of a truck once again. <laughs> yeah, adios! Adios! That ends our time here on this coffee farm. We're all getting on the boat, heading out of here. Just feeling pretty overwhelmed with everything. Reminds me a lot of the Camarca kind of feel, but just different. And just so happy to be doing what we're doing, making these connections, finding these people. The coolest thing about this whole experience is not only is this, you know, kind of essentially a business trip for all of us, but at the same time, it's just, it's been so much fun and it's been just so rewarding to just see this whole process and to make all these connections and uh, it just brings so much more purpose to what we're doing. I've never been more excited to build up this coffee business in my life. Adios! Gracias! <laughs> to good friends, good coffee, and good relationships. In Guatemala, baby! <laughs> So we have a house full of love, a house with a sleeping baby. Do you guys see the setup right now? I don't even remember the last time I sat around an actual dinner table like this, candle lit, with so many amazing humans. We got curry for dinner tonight, baby. All right, bon appetit. Yeah, bon appetit. Oh yeah, that's really good. Do I? Why two runs in front of me? Okay, it is, uh, That's a good guess. Close. Oh, man. We're tired. Emotionally, physically. Going to bed now. Thank you guys for following along. Love you guys so much. See you on the next one.